Hey guys, so for the first look, this is absolutely my favorite one of them all. And using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette, I'm grabbing that salmon shade from the palette called Eden, and I'm using a big fluffy brush just to work it into the crease. This blends so beautifully and it's very pigmented, so a little goes a long way. Then I'm dipping into the shade Saturn, which is a slightly more burnt orange, but with a tinge of salmon in there. And I'm also putting that in the crease just to deepen it up a little bit more. Again, I cannot say enough good things about the blendability of this eyeshadow palette. At a first glance, it can be a bit intimidating, but trust me, you are going to come up with so many beautiful looks. The third shade that I'm using is the shade Parallel, which is a nice deep chocolatey brown. It's slightly darker than most chocolate browns, so I did enjoy it, and I'm using that on the lid. I'm also buffing out those edges with a blending brush. This one I believe is the E25 from Sigma and it's such a nice brush to just blend out and diffuse any harsh edges. And again going back in with the transition shades that I used earlier I'm just gonna go ahead and blend everything out. Sometimes I find that the colors don't show up as nice so this certainly helps. On the lid I want it to be a little bit more dramatic so I'm using this shade called Throne and oh my goodness this is by far my favorite shade of the entire palette. It has such a nice duochrome effect and it's absolutely stunning and very wearable. Then I'm using the shade Obsidian just to deepen up the outer corner a little bit more and you'll notice that I'm using packing motions just to make it much easier. Blending out those harsh edges and then going back in with the transition shade in the color Eden just to make sure that it's nice and seamless. Now don't worry about any fallout because we can clean that up later. With a palette like this there is quite a bit of fallout but it's okay because the pigmentation is there and the blendability is there. Of course I had to make sure that I applied a wing eyeliner and for this particular look the wings were so on point like they were super sharp they could cut someone. Um, of course, I'm using my favorite liquid liner, which is the NYX Mad Liquid Eyeliner, and I'm just obsessed. It has not failed me. I need to purchase a new one because I can definitely see that this one is about to start drying on me, and ugh, don't want that. Then go ahead and clean up any fallout with some makeup remover, and go back in to perfect the blending. I'm really focused on using both Eden and Saturn just to make sure that that helps. And then applying a little bit of parallel just to kind of give us a little peek of that color that we might have missed out on before. To make it truly smoky, again, I'm going to go back in with Obsidian. I do find that with this particular palette, you do have to continue to layer on color just to make sure that it stays there because after you blend it out, it does wash out a little bit. So just be mindful of that. You could probably go in and apply some Fix Plus to the eyeshadow to make it more pigmented, but I prefer to just use my fingers to apply it. As for lashes, I'm using the Queen Bee Lashes from Coco Lashes, and oh, they're so fluffy and wispy. I absolutely love them. I will definitely be repurchasing some more. And then just on the lower lash line, I'm applying Eden and Saturn just to smoke it out a little bit more. Then using the shade Parallel as well, I'm also applying that just to add a little bit more intensity. And with my ring finger, or not my ring finger, my pinky, I'm applying just a small amount of Throne on the center of the lower lash line. For my inner corners, I'm using the shade Lucid, which was so pretty. Again, another dual chrome color, but very pigmented, and I absolutely loved it. For the lip color, I'm applying the shade 1993 by Urban Decay. It's their lip liner, and I'm using that to shape my lips as well as fill them in. And then I'm topping it off with Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss in the shade Kristen to complete the look. So there you have it. That is look number one. And again, I cannot say enough good things about it. This is definitely my favorite. It's so colorful, but wearable and uh, obsessed. For look number two, I wanted to keep it very girly and whimsical, so I opted for the lighter shades in the palette. And I'm starting off with the shade Unity and I'm placing it all over the lid up until the brow bone. 
And then I'm dipping into the shade Lure, which is a nice dusty mauve color. And I'm really going to be focused on using the shade for the majority of the, of the look. I'm placing that and I'm really building upon the same color and I'm also placing it on the lid as well. Now with this particular shade, you can, like I said, intensify it a lot or keep it very subtle. I feel like if you're lighter in complexion, the color might show up a little bit more. And here, don't mind me, I was trying out the technique that Nicole Guerrero uses to try to do a cut crease, which, um, needless to say for me, it was kind of a struggle, but it kind of worked, I guess. Um, so I'm just using some Shape Tape Concealer just to carve out my lid a little bit. What I should have honestly done was intensified that crease color a little bit more or just gone in with that brown just so that you could have really seen the uh, cut crease. But it worked out and I'm just using my finger to pack in that concealer so that it doesn't crease on me. Then going back in with the shade Allure, I'm just blending out those harsh edges and that line of demarcation so it's not as intense. And then I'm going to be using the shade called Dimension, which is such a pretty, like, gray, purpley, sparkly color. I really don't know how to explain it, but it's so beautiful, and it has a lot of dimension, just like the color suggests. And, of course, I'm using my pinky because I feel like it just applies better. Once I started using the brush, I didn't feel like it picked up as much, but I guess it kind of worked. And then I'm using the shade Lucid on the inner corner, or the inner third to just give us that gradient effect to build upon which I thought was really pretty and both of the colors looked gorgeous and they certainly helped to brighten up my eyes as well then I'm using the shade Lure just to blend it out with a slightly more tapered blending brush just to see if I could try to at least deepen it up a little bit again I actually really enjoyed the way that this came out, but I think for the next time I would just deepen it up slightly more so that that shade in the center would pop up just a little bit more. After I finished blending the eyeshadow, I then applied a wing and I actually changed up the liner because I filmed this the same exact day, but I could not find the next one. So I opted to use the one from Makeup Forever and it gave me a nice wing. I think because it looked very matte, it was really pretty. And again, it's still easy to apply, so I do appreciate that in the winged eyeliner. I just feel like for the price, the next one is just way better, and I don't know, it gives me a little bit more flexibility as well. But I did like the way that this applied my winged eyeliner. Then I'm using the shade Lure again, just to again, buff out any harsh edges and just kind of make it look a little bit more unified. You know, once you apply winged eyeliner, some of the look can change, so you just want to change with the wing if that makes sense and then again I'm building on the colors dimension and lucid just to intensify them again and for lashes I'm also applying the cocoa lashes in Queen Bee they were so pretty and very flirty and I think they just completed the look then applying the shade Lure again I'm still trying to intensify it just a little bit more I think this was like the peak that I could get it to and I also noticed that it was very powdery so you're gonna see that it's falling on my lashes and I will try to fix that with some eyeliner but it was a little bit of a struggle so again be mindful that it is very powdery and that you will get fallout so just try to dust off your brush to make sure that it doesn't or that at least it minimizes the amount. I'm also placing the shade Dimension on the bottom lash line. Earlier I placed Lure in there as well, but I just wanted to create that dimension as well with some shimmer and I think it worked really well. For the lip combo, I used Cabana Boy from Tarte. This is a really nice lipstick. It's more mauve in person than it is on camera for some reason, um, but it is very creamy and you could totally wear it by itself. But instead, I opted to add some gloss. The gloss that I'm using is a nice pale pink. It's the Marc Jacobs gloss in the shade Moon Glow, and I really think it completed the look. Here, I'm just applying some lower lash mascara, and again, trying to get rid of that fallout that I had on my lashes as best as I can. And there you have it. That is look number two, my take on a whimsical look using the AVH Prism Palette.
I hope you guys enjoyed that. And last but not least, my third look is more of a sultry and colorful smoky eye. So I'm using the shade Saturn and I'm placing that in my crease with a nice blending brush from Sephora Collection. I believe it's the number 27 and it was very pigmented. Then I'm going in with the shade Parallel just to round out the eyes a little bit more. As you can see, a little bit goes a long way, so be mindful. Again, these are very pigmented colors, but they are gorgeous. And deepen that up until you find the intensity that you're looking for. I want it to be very dramatic because I learned from the first, or not the first, but the second look, that the shade, if you want to make it pop, you really need to build it up. On the lid color, I'm using the shade Sphere, and wow, it is so pigmented, which can be a good thing and it can also be a bad thing, and you guys will see why. So I'm applying that with my ring finger until I see the intensity that I'm looking for. And I have to say I was very intimidated by that color, but I really wanted to use it and I'm so glad that I did. So now I'm using a smaller blending brush. I believe this is the Dose of Colors blending brush with the shade Parallel just to deepen it up again. And you guys can tell that as I'm trying to deepen it up, the shade Sphere is starting to kind of lose its pigmentation a little bit. So course I'm gonna have to go back in and deepen that up just a bit more and here you can already see the fallout start it's all over my lashes but you know what it was such a pretty color that I was able to kind of just work with it and then to intensify it further I'm applying obsidian and I'm also packing that into the outer corner but rounding it out at the same time this also helps with the blending process, especially when it comes to black. You want to be really careful. I try to blend it in increments, so I'll start off with a little bit of color, blend that out. Once I find that color payoff that I'm looking for, then I'll dip back into the palette to intensify it a little bit more. I feel like when you just go in with straight black, it can get very muddy and very messy, so this technique helps a lot. And here I'm applying just some regular liner. I really tried not to do winged eyeliner guys, but as you saw already, I ended up with, wing, with wings anyway. So here I'm just applying some black eyeliner. This one is the Makeup Geek, Obs Makeup Geek Obsidian one, and I'm blending that out with the same blending brush that I've been using throughout the entire eye look. And I'm going in with the shade Saturn just to round it out a little bit more. And here I'm also applying Sphere yet again because I wanted it to be very vibrant. I feel like with this look I should have tried the uh, cut crease technique but I didn't. And I, I liked it in the end but I think next time I again will try it with the cut crease as well. I've already added some lashes. I decided to use some 113 from Ardell and they're very pretty but I messed them up. Because here, when I tried to use a brush instead of my finger to apply the shade Sphere, it went all over my lashes, just like Lure went all over my lashes in the last look. And I, again, I tried to conceal it with some eyeliner, but it was really hard to do so. And then I noticed that the look just wasn't complete, so I added a baby wing, or at least in my case, this is what I would consider a baby wing, and I think it just looked that much better. But you could totally skip out on the wing if you want. And here I'm just applying the highlighter that I used on my face to the inner corner as a highlight shade. And for the lips, I'm using the shade Malibu. This is a lip liner from Kylie Cosmetics. It's very creamy. Uh, ultimately, I think I would have gone with a darker one, but for the look, I think it did work really well. And I'm filling it in and topping it off with Kat Von D's liquid lipstick in the shade Bow and Arrow. And that is the final look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. Three different looks using one palette. If you have any suggestions of what other palette you would like to see the series with, let me know. I would love to film that for you guys. And yeah, until next time, I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Bye!